love our oceans. We use them to surf, to tan, and cool off on a hot summer's day. What we don't do is take care of them. I know that the uh, Great Pacific Garbage Patch is the size of Texas. Not only is it the size width-wise of Texas, but then it is also miles deep. And there is more beneath the surface. Estimated 8.5 million metric tons of plastic enters the ocean every single year. But that 8.5 million metric tons is the equivalent of an entire garbage truck of plastic being dumped into the ocean every minute of every day for an entire year. There is no way to estimate the total amount of trash in the ocean. When this plastic enters the ocean, it just breaks down over time into smaller and smaller pieces, but it will never go away. So that's why it is really hard to kind of estimate or guess how much plastic is in the ocean because it's in such small pieces at this point. When plastics enter our oceans, they never biodegrade. They never fully return to nature. These were all ingested by some of our smaller patients um, and because of its ingestion that they ate this microplastic, it blocked the normal um, digestive systems and the normal um, processes that they need to survive. Plastic has infiltrated our oceans so deeply, it's the first thing sea turtle hatchlings eat. Here at Loggerhead Marine Life Center, we do find that 100% of our post-hatchling sea turtles um, have actually ingested plastics. So all of them have plastics in their stomachs, and this really affects them because that plastic can impact in their stomachs um, and actually can not allow them to pass food or pass waste like they normally would. So that plastic in their stomach is giving them no nutritional value and they'll keep eating, but they're unable to kind of digest it entirely. Um, so those turtles will actually starve. Ocean pollution has one source, humans. People sometimes decide to uh, pour toxic chemicals down storm drains. That's storm drains lead directly to the river and to the ocean. They don't, it doesn't get treated first. You have the potential of killing wildlife by doing that. Ocean pollution has one solution, humans. There would be no trash or no plastic in the ocean if no one was using it, right? So disposable plastic items are a really good thing to try to eliminate from everyday life. And if every single individual person picked maybe at least one item and they completely eliminated it from their life, for example, maybe plastic to-go cups for coffee in the morning. And if one person skipped those every single morning, um, that creates a really big change. And then if you imagine if everyone was doing that, a lot less plastic would be in our ocean. There are many ways you can make a difference in your environment. The way to kind of solve this issue would to be to resort to alternatives. So sustainable materials that can be utilized in place of disposable plastic items so none of that waste is being generated and therefore none of it can enter the oceans. And if you really want to get your hands dirty, you can get involved with your local solid waste authority. We have our green team. We do special events. Uh, we promote recycling education out in the community. We also host an America Recycles Day uh, event each year on our um, facilities here in West Palm Beach. Now is the time to take action for our oceans, for our future. So roll up your sleeves and save our sea.